kisi Wabunge 26 wameanza mchakato wa kutaka idadi ya kaunti nchini kuongezwa kutoka idadi ya sasa ya kaunti 47 hadi kaunti 58 kwa kile wanadai kuwa kuna baadhi ya maeneo yamenyanyaswa kimaendeleo. Wabunge hao wamewasilisha mapendekezo yao mbele ya kamati ya taifa ya mazungumzo wakisubiri kuona ikiwa kamati hiyo itakubali kuruhusu mjadala huo kuanza rasmi. Wabunge hao wanasisitiza kuwa nyongeza ya kaunti inaweza kufanyika bila kuwepo kwa kura ya maoni ila wataalamu wa sheria wakiongozwa na wakili Bobu Mkangi alikuwa kamishna katika kamati ya maandalizi ya katiba ya mwaka 2013 na sema lazima Kuwepo kwa tume maalumu ya bunge takayoteuliwa kupitia mswada maalumu kisheria kwa kuwa uwezo tume huru ya uchaguzi na mipaka IBC wa kubadili mipaka huishia kwenye kitengo cha maeneo bunge kisheria. Wili lusige na tarifa hiyo. Miaka kumi imekamilika baada ya katiba mpya mwaka 2010 kuanza kutekeleza majukumu yake kisheria mwaka 2013 katika awamu ya rais mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta kitumbua chake kimeendelea kuingia mchanga wa bunge 26 wakiwa mwasilisha mapendekezo yao mbele ya kamati ya taifa ya mazungumzo kutaka baadhi ya mipaka ya kaunti kubadilishwa ili kuzalisha kaunti nyingine mpya moja kwa kuwa wanahisi baadhi ya sehemu za kaunti kadhaa zimetengwa na serikali za kaunti husika maendeleo kisiasa na kijamii to propose the change that is valid but to propose a change via any other means that are provided by 188 that is where there is a constitutional incongruence msukumo huu kianza siku chache baada ya wabunge kuidhinisha mgao wa fedha kwa tume huru ya mipaka na uchaguzi IEBC kwa kima cha shilingi bilioni 7 nukta kenda look at the economy of our country at this moment uh, we do not want more burdens. Kupitia kwa msemaji wa bunge hao mbunge wa Kuria Mashariki Marwa Kitayama, wa bunge hao wanataka kubuniwa kwa kaunti nyingine 11 zinazojumuisha Kuria, Teso, Mlima Elgon, Pokot Mashariki, Mwingi, Gucha, Suba, Ijara, Nakuru Magharibi, Wajir Kusini na Nyambene. We have not even done 100% implementation of devolution as is envisaged in the constitution. Ila mtaalamu wa masuala ya katiba wa Kilibobu Mkangi alichangia pakubwa kwenye muundo wa katiba mpya iliyoko sasa akisema jukumu la kuongeza ama kupunguza idadi ya kaunti si jukumu la IBC maana kisheria uwezo wake uishia kwenye kiwango cha maeneo bunge. Tume maalumu inafaa kuanzishwa kupitia sheria ilobuniwa na bunge kusikiza na kukusanya maoni ya wakenya ya kuongeza idadi ya kaunti. So there is also the proposal that it is the IBC to do it. That is not the work of IBC. IBC delimits constituencies and wards, not counties. And then maybe it gives birth to the formation of this commission that will look at uh, um, the boundaries as are right now. Uh, most of these uh, names that have been brought forth to be turned, to be delineated as county government, they are sub-counties and meaning they have members of parliament representing them. They have other administrative units like for example the member of county assemblies. Tumehiri takusanya maoni katika taifa zima na kufahamu kwa kina mbona county hizo kuminamoja zibuniwe. It is a national con conversation through this commission and the proposals which eventually parliament also uh, either endorses or, or, or uh, refuses to. Huenda ikawa si safari rahisi kwa bunge hao wataalamu wakisema itawabidi kuwashawishi wa Kenya umuhimu wa kuwa na kaunti zaidi ili hali kaunti 47 zilizopo kwa sasa zikionekana kumongezea mlipa ushuru mzigo mkubwa hukuma endeleo ya kaunti ya kiwa ya kiwango cha chini kutokana na ufisadi. Why should we have 11 more uh, county governments that would end up adding an extra budget to the public coffers which is already bloated. Willy Lusigekete News, Nairobi. Nakuru.